All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open these. You can, you can, you can introduce right. us. Big shout out to 13th Colony uh, out of America's Georgia. They contacted us and uh, asked if we would like to try a little bit of their lineup. Yes, please. Did you have to ask, really? Just ship? Just, of course we do. Yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> just get it to us. We'll get it done. So this is pretty cool. So this is, it's 13th Colony out of America's Georgia. They've been in uh, operation since 2009. That makes them actually Georgia's oldest operating distillery. The master distiller there graduated from Le Cordon Bleu, was a co in the Coast Guard. This is like his passion. I'm excited to try it though. So we've got the bourbon, we've got the rye, and we've got the- Southern rye. <laughs> Southern rye and the double oaked bourbon. This which, is what I really yes, want to try. I've heard really, really good things about this. I used to get this and make Manhattan's out of it years ago when I was first getting into the bourbon drinking, into whiskey drinking at all. I wasn't even into bourbon. I remember it being delicious, made phenomenal Manhattan's. Let's jump into the bourbon. I think 13th Colony has some of the coolest bottles. Uh, like on paper, they look like they'd be kind of wild to pour and they kind of do feel a little awkward to pour, but I think the style of the bottle is I love it. So it's very, it's cool. super cool. It's super unique. This is coming in at 95 proof. And you know what? I looked up the mash bill. 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. So this and the rye are both over five years. And then we'll talk about the double oak when we get to it. There's a distinct leather. In it. I get cherries. cherries. Yeah, there's cherries. And I get like straight up leather shop. The cherry kind of stands out for me. It smells really good. It does smell really good. It's sweet to me, an apricot note, the younger note, even in the nose. Like the corn note? That corn, the, yeah, heavy corn note. But I pick it up as an apricot, like a dried apricot. I know uh, what an apricot is. How have you still never tried an apricot? As I don't know I what an apricot them. is. I don't even know what it, I don't even know what an apricot looks like. It looks like a mini peach. What is that? Is that that big ass thing that's on a water tower? <laughs> yes, it looks like a giant ass okay. on the side of I-85. You know, for 95 proof, she always she like, got some legs. That leather's getting more and more prominent for it me. Hey, <laughs> Samar. <laughs> tobacco. All leather tobacco. Medicinal cherry. Yeah. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. No. Yeah. This. I is thought a, it was gonna be sweet because I could I could really pick out that cherry note. This is a, a savior, a more of a savory. Yeah. Bourbon. It's got a nice finish. Mm -hmm. It's approachable. You know what? If you don't like sweet whiskeys, if you're more of a savory, this could be right up your alley. It's not bad at all. I'm really interested to see how this goes with a cigar. That tobacco and leather notes, there's a slight pepperiness. Mm -hmm. The more I sip on that, the more I like it. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. Let's go to the- uh, The Southern Rye. The Southern Rye. And this is a 95% rye. It's aged uh, over uh, four years. This one's on there. She was hard to pull off. That's what she said. Or he said. Now let's see, what uh, proof are we coming in on this one? Same 95 thing, 95 as well? Yep. That's different. What is that? I'm trying to pick that out too. What the hell is that? I'm not there's used a, to it either. There's a note that I'm not used to getting. Like this is coming similar to the bourbon. This is coming over onto the savory side. For I pick up a little bit of the mint, but there's like, there's one distinct note in there that I have no <sighs> idea what it is. I know I've smelled it before in the past. Smelt it. Smelled a word? Smelt. 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 Smelted. Smelt. Smelted. There's a smelt. 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 Smelting is different than smelt. smelt. But smelled or smelt. Smelled. 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 Smelting is something smelt. else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Malty, like a baker's chocolate or something like yeah. that. You know what? I can't figure it out, so let's just go with that. All right. Let's just yeah, let's, let's go with let's that. Just put, it in our, put it in our mouth holes. It, yeah, we might be able to figure it out if we stick it in our mouth. That's a rye, all right. That's a rye, but that's a... That's smooth. That doesn't have that real kick of pepper. I get the little mint on the back end. Yeah. Just slightly. It's not as pronounced as like say Sazerac rye. And when I'm drinking a rye, I like that mint. This is good. I this do is, like this. I'm gonna go back for a second sip before I uh, <clears throat> throw out judgment. It's not uber sweet, just like the bourbon. It's not uber sweet, which in a Manhattan would play extraordinarily well okay. because of that sweet vermouth that you're adding into yeah. there. And that's where you go with you something to that's too, too sweet. Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden it just goes down this path of just like uber sickening sweet. Yeah. And I wanted a more balance. This would give a phenomenal balance. This is gonna have uh, uh, This is good. Uh, Morty. This Sorry. This is good and neat. And these are both coming in like 35, 40 bucks. This is a bottle where you're having a little event and you're mixing cocktails and you want to impress people with your cocktail skills. This is the bottle you want on the bar. Hey, cause this is how you pour it like this. You pour it like that. 
I do like this. This is nice. It's, it's nice. This is very nice. It's nice and subtle. Good. Pass me your Glenn. We're going to jump into this dub luck, and I've been... All right. I'm Jonesing. excited. I am jonesing. So, okay. First release was this past fall of 2022. Second release is coming out fall of 2023 on this. And this is coming in, what is this, 135? 135.3 P roof. Yeah. So or this is 67.6. This is cash ADD. strength. God, my, look how dark that that's, is. That's, that looks like it was dyed. I know it wasn't, but like that looks like it was dyed. With, that's Holy massively hell. dark. Holy shit. Knock your fing head back. That smells pretty damn strong. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a buttery note on that nose. Uh, it's, obviously, it's, it's, it's brown sugar. It, it's like it's oily. You have all the dark, deep, rich flavors, like a dark cherry in there. Yeah, it's oily shit, too. I can't wait to coat my throat with this. Oh, yeah, juice. Let <laughs> All right. Titan, yes. <laughs> Let's do it over the gums and through the lips. lips. Look here. out, stomach. stomach. Here, here we go. Comes. What the hell? Oh, dude, the flavors in that. that oh my is, god. Wow. Holy that's good. shit. I wasn't expecting to get this emotional. <laughs> Damn, Thirteenth Colony. Hey, Thirteenth Colony. Whenever you get another bottle of this, uh, uh, we uh, we, we like love to partake. Uh, we need uh, we need a little more. Uh, God dang, it right. smells good. And it but, tastes amazing. All right, past the uh, the initial reaction. Flavor bomb. I almost don't want to drink anymore. I want to save it, and I want to take it home with me, and I want to buy it all sorts of jewelry and talk to it real sweet. And never call her again. Do the man who did the You understand me? There's this really beautiful oak note. It's so well balanced. Why is that so good? It's yeah. still hugging. It's oh. still hugging. It's oh. still hugging. And it's still not only hugging, but it's the flavors are still there. It's still... It's a it's it's a freaking good good old whiskey. The straight bourbon, it's good. Savory side. If you want something different, try it. Or with cigars, I'm really interested to try the cigar. I'm interested to try the rye with cigars because I love rye. Well, that's I can't wait to make Manhattan's mixer. with this. Yeah, that that's gonna be bo just bonkers to elevate a cocktail. This right here, I'm drinking this straight, and they, they can't nobody say nothing. Thirteenth Colony. When y'all release the next round, yeah, tell me where it's at. I'm buying a case hey, of this. That's this good. is holy. I don't know. Get this mic out of my face. It's one of those uh, let me contemplate my life real quick type whiskeys. I'm just gonna say we uh, we filmed a stag video before this. Uh, sure. We're trying to stag. <laughs> <laughs> Once it literally touched the skin of my lips and I can taste it. It's it's hanging around. The sweetness oh. is hanging around. Yeah. It's it like flipped. the yeah. It's the exact it opposite. With four different variations of stag, this is on par with with some of that. Oh, oh yeah, this is this is on par. You guys don't know what that means. Uh, we did a blind with four different uh, stag juniors. This right here is on par with a couple of those stags. This is good. Uh, 13th Colony, you did well. Please let us know when you have another one of these drop. And if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. Hey, there's two videos right here. Uh, click on them. This one's gonna be something other that you can watch, and this one's gonna be something other that you can also watch. You covered my uh, face again, didn't you? I did. Yeah, because somebody wants to see your ugly face. I'm gonna show my face a little bit. Well, I want you to see your face out of it. Ah, shut up. <laughs>